I am the founder of Sikis Yogurt. We make Icelandic style yogurt called Skir. So I originally moved to New York to go to Columbia Business School. And after graduation, I had a day job I really didn't like and I was really poor at it. While doing that job, I had sort of started making yogurt as a hobby. I missed skier, which is the yogurt I grew up eating. First of all, I noticed that a lot of the food that I was eating had like long ingredient lists, like very complicated ingredients I didn't like. And then second, and maybe more importantly, I noticed there was a lot of sugar and stuff. I sort of swore to make my yogurt very low in sugar, and that was sort of our biggest hallmark. Before this had been sort of this little romantic and dour, at the time I was probably in about 10 to 15 stores in Brooklyn and Manhattan. So I didn't really realize how a big of a break it was at the time. At one point, actually, after we had just, just launched in Whole Foods, the plant totally crashed. We couldn't keep up with the demand. So we had to shut the plant down for about three or four months and the shelves were empty. We didn't ship anything while we did it. And that was a horrible time. We, you know, we nearly went bankrupt, but we got back. The biggest thing I, I thought about was like, what am I going to do when it's done, you know? <laughs> what we found in the company that acquired us, Lactal, is that, you know, they own a lot of like really, really old cheese brands that they haven't changed for generations. The circumstances were really good, so we decided to jump on it. For me, the, what I thought about is just like failure is not an option. You know, obviously it's like tricky when you have all the demands in the world on you and, and then, you know, you're, you're kind of broke and you have to like not necessarily eat the best food yourself. You have to be sort of totally convinced that you're gonna make this work. 